As a palette cleanser between historical projects, I decided to make the Bethany dress by Hubbiding Patterns. It's a mid-calf length wrap dress with puff sleeves. And I thought it would be so cute to make out of this green check fabric that I found at Joann's. I'll take you through the making of this dress and also detail out some of the changes that I made to the pattern to accommodate my petite frame. At the end, you'll get to see what the finished dress looks like and I'll also give you my thoughts on the pattern overall. Because I'm so petite, this is an adjustment that I find I always want to make on ready-made clothes, but that is really hard to do, almost impossible to do if you don't want a seam in the middle of your sleeve. Yes. But it helps so much with getting a proper fit for a garment. And what I want to do is shorten the garment between the bust and the shoulder seam which means that we also have to shorten the head of the sleeve. And I think I shortened mine about three quarters of an inch, but of course, how much you need to shorten yours is going to vary based upon your own body proportions. It's actually a pretty easy pattern adjustment to make. You just draw a horizontal line across the sleeve head right at or above the notch markings. And then you measure however much you want to take out. In my case, again, it was three quarters of an inch and you draw a second horizontal line across. Then you just take your scissors and cut along one of those lines, overlap until the edge of the paper meets your remaining line and you have your adjustment for the sleeve head. Then you just have to smooth out the curve of the sleeve head and transfer the notch markings down. Then you do the same thing on your bodice front and bodice back pieces. Again, trying to keep your lines as close as possible to those notch marks that you see on the pattern. And here too, since you only have one notch mark for the armhole, you just wanna make sure that your line is perpendicular to the grain line that should be listed on the pattern. And don't forget to repeat this process for the bodice back as well. Another modification that I made to this pattern is I shortened the bodice by about um, three quarters of an inch, a little less than an inch. And this is an adjustment that I typically make at the waistline of all of my patterns because I am so short. Usually I take in at the waist about two inches, but because I had already taken in three quarters of an inch at the armhole um, to fix that, I decided to make it a little less at the waist. I had also heard some of the reviews online saying that this dress tended on the side of, of being like shorter waisted, but I figured that probably still wouldn't be enough for my super short self, and so decided to go ahead and make a small adjustment at the waist, but just not as much as I normally do. This pattern already includes the seam allowance, so it was really easy to set it up and cut it out. The first step in the construction was to lay the front and back pieces of the bodice right sides facing, and then show the sew the shoulder seams together. The next step was to sew the side seams. And on one of the side seams, you leave a two inch opening at the bottom and stitch up along that edge and around. Um, and this is so that you have a space for your tie for the wrap dress to travel through. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more sewing, art, and historical costuming videos. Also make sure to hit the alert bell so that you can be notified when new videos drop. Happy sewing! The next step was the skirt. And again here, I did shorten the skirt pattern by um, I think an inch and a half. Um, and I did that below the hip line. And I just sort of estimated this with the knowledge that when I hem it, I may have to hem it more than initially planned, but I wanted to start with a skirt piece that was somewhat close to the proper length. 
since this is a wrap dress, the skirt consists of three pieces, a back and two fronts. So those just get laid together right sides facing and then stitched together down each of the side seams. So then this is how you can imagine that with the skirt actually closed on your body. Next, each of the free vertical edges of the skirt needed to be finished. So I rolled them up twice on themselves and then used a little prick stitch so that it would look really nice. And this is one area where I deviated from the pattern instructions because they instructed you to top stitch. Next, place the bodice against the skirt right sides facing, pin together and stitch the waist seam. The tie construction was pretty simple. You just place them right sides together, stitch all the way around the outside, leaving one edge open, and then turn them right sides out. And then here is what that looks like once both waist ties have been ironed out all nice and neat. Next, the ties get stitched down to the bodice on either side. Then there is a facing piece which gets attached at the neckline and travels all the way down to each of the ties at the waist. I forgot to film this part, but another alteration that I made to the pattern was actually shortening the sleeve because, again, I'm super short, so therefore I have super short arms. Um, so I don't remember exactly how much I shortened it by, but it was probably somewhere between like an inch and two inches. Each of the sleeves gets folded in half on itself, right sides facing, and then stitched up that long side seam. Then it gets attached to the bodice in the usual way, making sure to line up each of the notches. Then the final step for the sleeves was just to add elastic at the bottom of the arm. So folding that bottom of the sleeve up twice to make the casing and adding elastic in. This was my first time trying a dress pattern by Hubbiting Patterns, and I can say that I will definitely be a repeat customer. This dress is just so cute, fun, and effortless, and I really love the way it turned out. You could really tell that the pattern had loving thought put into it. The instructions were so clear and easy to follow. The pattern had all the proper grain markings and notch markings on it to make it super, super easy. The reviews in their shop about this dress already being short-waisted were correct, and I probably did shorten it a bit too much. So I'd recommend if you're going to make this pattern to either not shorten it at the waist at all or maybe just not shorten it as much as you usually do. All in all, I really love this pattern. This dress is one of my favorites. One step down.